Hello Virgo, it's my lady from Malay's Way Tarot and one of your friends is pregnant or one of your friends is trying to protect you from being pregnant by a person. Okay, so it's my lady from Malay's Way Tarot and I'm coming to do your weekly reading for the week of July 17th through 24th, 2017. The cards I'm using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish and I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. I want to thank everybody for likes, sharing, subscribing, and setting up personal readings with me. If you want to if you want a personal reading with me, check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Other than that, check your sun, moon, and rising signs. Thank everybody and let's get this show on the road. All right. Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. What's going on for Virgo? Love reading for the week of July 17th through 24th, 2017. Doop. Sorry about the sound effects. I had too much coffee this morning. So some of you guys are getting ready to take a trip, moving closer to people for some of you. And some of you just feel like something is just too far to touch, too far out of your reach. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So now I'm seeing that, yeah, some, some of you guys are in a relationship where you're not physically active. But you're on the same level mentally, but it's just like maybe they're too far, maybe a long distance relationship, or maybe you're getting ready to take a trip to see this person. Oh, geez, this has made my heart warm. Okay, so some of you guys got a long distance relationship with somebody that you're in love with. For some of you guys, you're going to visit this person. Yeah, my heart is just like feel like it's being crushed right now because of the distance, you know, trying to get from one to another, okay? Oh, jeez. So, there's a third-party situation going on. But, since it's here with this card, I don't feel like that there is love here. So, for some of you guys, the third party is the one you're in love with. And for others of you... You guys are in love with each other, but there's somebody trying to get into your relationship. But, you know, there's no sexual feelings going on or uh, sexual acts happening yet, you know. Oh, yeah, but this person is real sneaky. I don't know why I just felt like friend. This person is trying to act like the friend to get in, you know. Mm. Okay, so I'm going to just keep going, but I got the feeling that the friends is trying to get you to cheat. They know this other person like you, and they're trying to, let's just, one more card. All right, what is this unseen event card? Manipulation, okay, who's manipulating? All right. So, I don't know, the traveler is the manipulator. I don't know who this is, what this is, or what this means. But it seems like somebody is trying to, somebody's trying to break up a, a happy home. Somebody just keep coming in, and they're trying to make some crazy stuff happen. And then they leave. But I, there's no sexual thing going on here. I don't think it's going on any place. I feel like somebody's trying to get a friend or a family member to give up. Um, yeah, look at that shit. I'm sorry, I don't cuss, but this just scared the hell out of me. It's a friend who's trying to get you to, to cheat on your long distance relationship with somebody that's there. And I feel like they're trying to get you to cheat with old, somebody old, or they're trying to make you sacrifice the old one for a new one. I hate cussing. <laughs> so somebody is somebody is watching you about some kind of judgment. Okay? Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. What's going on with the Virgo? Love reading. Virgo. Virgo, love reading. Um, Virgo, love reading. Yeah, don't trust them. They're trying to ruin everything. They're jealous. They're jealous of your money. They always got their hand out trying to get what you have. 
they jealous of trips did you go to see your partner you know okay mm -mm. all right so this could be somebody that you work with that is trying to get you to do this craziness okay you too young go live okay so the hermit is uncertainty depression and doubt yeah you got this third party situation going on and then you got work that's crazy you got three three and the, this upside down is six okay i'm not gonna go there <laughs> okay so uncertainty about yeah that's that's loneliness solitude betrayal incorrect actions or delaying an introspection so basically you're thinking about everything you you got this friend who's telling you stupid stuff like oh you should do this you should do this and then you're like yeah you know that is a far distance away you know but i really love him or her you know but i really do want to so they're trying to get you to go back to the ex and you thinking about the ex and how jacked up that stuff is so you you're gonna trade your feelings for somebody who's there I would rather have the feelings than somebody who's sitting up in my face causing, causing me trouble. But that's just me. So we're going to go to the three of staffs. Three of staffs. All right, three of staffs reverse. A positive and complete into a situation that plagued your emotions. All right. All right, so then we have the knight of coins. A person of trust who will guide and help you is approaching. Approach any task with great planning and organization. All right, then we're going to go to the, to the three of coins. All right, this says, this card indicates silly workplace rivalry, boredom with your uh, position. So I feel like this is just all together. You, uh, you sick of people trying to change what you think, you know, and you're trying to come out of that. All right, this nine of, knight of coins. Let me look at this again. Did I read the right one? No, I don't know if I read the right one. So this says a person of trust who will guide and help you is approaching. Approach any task with great planning and organization. So I don't know if I read that one or not, but I felt like I needed to read it again if I didn't. But it's like somebody's getting ready to come help you out and they're about to help you see that this friend really ain't your friend and what you should possibly do. And I think some of you, I feel like it's going to end up moving, quitting your job because you really don't like it that much and moving to where your partner is to be in love. But that's all I have for you guys. Make sure you to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you want a person reading, check in the description box below. Other than that, you guys have a wonderful weekend. Week. Mm-hmm.